this is a uh, gonna be like a, a quick and general if you need an angel right now kind of message um, so hey everyone thank you I'm so grateful you come in the lives thank you hey guys Mateo how are you my love hi Astro hi Silly's hi everybody else hi Mava, what's up? Drifting, hello. Okay. Rex, how are you, Mikey? All right, so what's up, um, Jay? So let me tell you guys something that's going on here. Miko, what's up, babes? Okay, so first of all, um, I'm here doing this live because I want to send some people, some angels, because just last night, um, you know, I, I've been sort of like tapping in more into the audio perceptive of of this uh, whole mission and um i'm doing well i'm just relaxing today just chilling you know in bed just chilling watching shows on hulu and shit um and i was uh uh you know i've been i experienced th things at night especially um that are not comfortable for me and of course i stand up right away instead of laying there and just being fearful i stand up and stand up to whatever energy is not respecting what I wished for, right? So if they're pushing my hand or touching me or moving me, um, we got a problem and I don't like that, you know? So um, I woke up, I got up last night after I was, you know, and it's so fucking crazy. Of course they do it right when you're about to sleep, right? Because I was, that's the time when your energy is the most vulnerable and it's it's the most relaxed. And so spirit will try to connect with you at that moment, like when you're really relaxed at night. And so um, I don't feel threatened, like anybody's going to do anything to me. I just feel like they're trying to get my attention. And for whatever reason that is, I, I, it's impossible to find out until when I meditate, they communicate clearly clearly with me. The point of this uh, live is this. Um, a lot of people will um, send me DMs and I'll see comments. I read my comments. I'm very like into the comments and I read what people are saying and when I hear that people are in situations that they're not comfortable that they're not happy there they don't feel safe in their own homes and all that and um there's a lot of things being exposed right now with Mars and retro and it's gonna be moving Mars is gonna move into cancer and it's gonna get out of retro soon and when that happens uh, a lot more people are gonna be vulnerable and more sensitive to what others were feeling if you're anything like me for this past two three weeks you've been on 10 like anger issues for real and it's crazy because i work on my anger issues a lot so for them to resurface the way they have been for this past like two three weeks um it's like um and so i knew mars was in retro because bitch i was like yeah. and i have scorpio and um scorpio and my mars so yeah scorpio and my mars just think about that that makes sure right there so spirit guides were talking to me. Of course, they're always communicating with me, right? I could be on the way to somebody getting tapped on the head, something. And I was, um, I was in the bathroom and I was washing my hands after I went to the bathroom. And I just have to tell you guys everything. I don't know why. <laughs> so I was washing my hands and then I heard, um, you know, jump on and send people some angels. So I'm like, okay. So so we're jumping on and sending people some angels. JW, what's up, baby? <laughs> so we're jumping out. We're sending people some angels. Now, um, you might think like, who the fuck are you to send me angels? But it works, you know? Um, it works when I do it. So I've had family members who went through things with their loved ones and just really quick, generally going to speak this. And, um, and they had issues with their loved ones. And I would like leave a crystal of mine that I had in my room for a long time at their home. And all of a sudden, things would like fall apart to get back together again, right? So this recently just happened with someone um, that I'm close to. And I left her this crystal that I had in my space. And <clears throat> apparently, my crystals, when I leave my people's houses, they do a few things. First of all, they remove negative energy. Once some one of my friends told me that her daughter's throat didn't hurt no more after like two days of wearing the crystal around her neck. So um, it's like I absorb, you know, the power within it and then I hand it to someone and then whatever happens from it. You don't have to believe none of this stuff. That's if you don't believe in it, it's 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 not for you anyway. Right. So um, this is for those of you who have faith in supernatural things, you know, um, 
everything's supernatural. If you ask me, everything's supernatural. Anyway, so what I wanted to do was um, tell you guys this. For those of you who need an angel right now, who are going through, um, I'm hearing something about court and legal stuff right in between something with cases. Uh, I feel like there could be like a... Somebody is going through a major breakup right now, and I don't know who that's for, but I'm hearing that as well. So um, whoever's going through that breakup right now, um, yeah, very anxious, very on a hundred, right, on ten, right. I could tell you guys something. This this Mars and retro, I have not went out the house. Like I mean, I went out to do things like that I needed to, but as far as to be out in public clubs or anyway, I don't go to clubs to go out to bars or anything like that. I'm not. It's not happening. It's not happening. Oh, wow. A lot of you. That's me. That's me. I have court on Tuesday. I go on Wednesday. Wow. You're dealing with an eviction. Holy shit. Uh, you would have break up. Never in trouble with the course. Okay. So this is what spirit wants you to know. So first of all, the first thing I'm going to tell you is this. I got to be sitting up for this message. I. Okay. So the first thing spirit wants you to know here is this. First of all, ah. First thing is, um, when when you're stepping into situations like this, no matter what you're going through, with whoever you're going through it with, okay, um, yeah, God bless to everybody who's dealing with the courts. But let me tell you something. Let me tell you a secret, right? Okay, one time I had court, right? This mm, that one out of. 50 times <laughs> anyway the point is we laugh at our past mistakes because they're funny now right hardest breakup of your life i'll get to the breakup after this and i had court and i remember that time at that time this is i'm not this is not talking about me i'm going to tell you a miraculous story so that you can understand you also can do the same thing um and i remember having court and i remember i had about i think 12 or 13 tickets and when i tell you they were all no license and I was driving different people's cars when I got pulled over in these cars from different states. All I had no license at the time. And I was just driving people's cars and getting pulled over and telling them, I said, well, my ID got my license. And then they would just take my information and I would go to court. But this is a, a while ago. So it's not like today where they're locking people up for stupid shit. Ooh, I'm getting hit in the head here. And I remember walking into court. But before I walked in, I said, I'm going to go in that court. Because my friends were like, yo, you're fucked. You got like 13 tickets. The cops were all standing in line. It was like eight cops standing there because now we have a bunch of cops that are there for my tickets. And I'm like, they're like, you're fucked. All the cops showed up. Oh, you're fucked. And I was like, okay. So now these tickets were far in between. They were far from each other. And I woke, I remember saying to, to the people I was with, I'm going to walk in there. And each one of those tickets is going to get canceled because no, no, none of those cops took my ID. And I'm going to get away with this. You watch. And they were like, okay. I went in and because I firmly believed that when I walked into that courtroom, the judge was going to be on my side. The cops were not going to remember what I looked like. Everything I said happened in that courtroom. How does somebody walk away? 13 tickets. Eight different cops are there for me. Not one of them could point me out and go, I don't remember if it was her. None of them said they remembered me. Am I a magician? Am I better than you? Am I wise? I may be more able to use my my manifesting skills in a better way but you are also able to do that so for those of you who do have court you have anything taking place with court or anything else exactly um ariana Grande sings a middle finger to the air and then i snap it i still can't snap these fingers from the car accident snap it right <laughs> right and she says that, you know, um i'm out manifested i finessed it she says that right and um and whenever she says that, sings that song, I sing it so loud with her, because I understand what she's saying. Because when you're when you're in a a space where you start to doubt anything that's coming your way, this is your angels talk, talk, talking to you now. They want you to know that they're gonna be with you. Okay, hold on, because the message is going back and forth. But my point is that when you believe it, you can attract it. Okay, you you select it, you project it. And then you proclaim it, right? So you proclaim it. I will do this. You select it. I'm going to do this, that, that thing over there. And then you, you project it, put it out into the universe. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. And then you claim it like it's already done. Like it's already done. 
So whatever it is you're going through, you may think, oh my God, I'm not going to be able to, I'm not going to be able to get away with this. It's not going to happen. You're wrong. You're wrong. You are wrong. Period. I'm going to, I could prove it to you time and time again where I wanted things and I made them happen easily. It's another scenario that I'm, that I'm, the spirit wants to reiterate right now. They're saying that, um, I need to let you guys know. Okay. So, um, all right, for those of you who are going through a breakup, like you're going to feel so happy after this. I know someone personally who's going through a major breakup right now and she was like, you know, I'm not going to lie. I was watching your videos and your stuff. She goes, I don't know why. Um, it's like you were talking about what I'm going through. And then you told me, you said after you came to my house that day, you said, you're going to break up with him. And I, and this is happening. And she goes, right now in this moment, it feels so horrible and terrible. But I know that this is going to be for my highest good because it's like this. Like, we're upset that we're breaking up with people, but... We were arguing with them every day. There was no sex. There was no love. There was no passion, no compassion. And so we're sitting here upset about breaking up with people that we're not even, we don't even want to be with. You know? You know what I'm saying to you? Like we're breaking up with people we don't even want to be with and we're crying about it. Does that make sense to you? It makes perfect sense to me because you want what you can't have, right? A girl with straight hair wants curly hair. You know, a girl with a fat ass wants a small ass. A girl with a small ass wants a fat ass. I mean, that's just the truth of it all. We want what we can't have. And then when you're in the middle of, you know, like I posted a thing. I said, when you're not supposed to be with somebody, God will, God will never let you have peace with this person. You can't be at peace. You can't step out your house and, and <laughs> can't wait to come home. You know, like you can't wait. That's what love is, right? If you're breaking up with someone and you were in this position with this person and you were leaving the house and you weren't even excited to go home, your home, your house, your home. This home is where the heart is. That's a saying for a reason. Hmm? You know what I'm saying to you, right? So you're holding on to relationships that don't work. We hold on to friendships storylines, things that we know we, we can't have and we want, right? And it's like this. It's like when you want something, just go and get it. Like, but it, you know, when you're, okay. You ever, you ever had people in a relationship, right? There's always that one, one person always has the upper hand in a relationship in the beginning, right? Okay. It's supposed to be equal and all that bullshit, but one person always has the upper hand. Ooh, I'm getting heat in the right eye here. One person has the upper hand in the relationship at the time. If you're, let's say, for instance, one of you guys are in love with someone else or or you're married and it's not working out, you know, it's not working out and you met someone else. I'm hearing at your job. I don't know. Um, you met someone else and you just feel like this person lights fire under your ass again and they make you feel sexy and wanted and loved. Also understand that all relationships, they do all kind of dull out after a while, but but not all of them is what I'm saying. So, so if you have the upper hand and you have, you're in a relationship, but you meet a person who's single, this person that's single is not going to run after you because you're in a relationship. Like that's just wrong. You know what I'm saying? On so many levels. I don't know who that message is for. Yeah. <sighs> Look. Yeah. That quality bullshit is, it gives me a headache. Like, you know what? You're the man. I, I don't want to be equal to you. If, if you want me to be equal to the man that I'm with, then I don't think you want that. I mean, you want you want me to be equal with you? Okay. We could do that. I mean, we could play that game. I could be the man too. I mean, I could play that role easily, but I don't think anybody wants that. I'd rather just play my little girl role. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Do what I do. Still make my money. Still be a boss bitch, but also inspire you to be somebody too. Anyway, um, the angels are saying this right now. So um, for those of you because I love the gray on you. Yeah, I have the, the hair dye on my desk there. And I was supposed to dye yesterday and the day before. And I was just like, I want to, but I don't know. I'll see. Okay, so I'm going to have you guys close your eyes with me for a moment. Those of you who do need an angel because I'm hearing your guides say, maybe they want you to learn how to talk to them. So if you don't know how to talk to your angels or your guides and ask for help, this is... 
I'm assuming they're going to help me channel the messages that how you can call on us. I'm hearing now. Okay. So for those of you who really need an angel for, ow. Uh, so I don't know. I just felt like a stabbing pain on my right, right lower backside. Um, some of you could have like a, uh, what's those called? A disc, a herniated disc, um, on the right side there. And if you're getting sharp pains there, um, you, you might want to just, um, you might want to get some, some help for that. Why don't you let your gray come completely out? You are as sexy as you are. I, I'm i trying to, but, you know, don't forget, that takes a year or two years, and I don't mind it. I don't mind, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm, I think I might have to do that. You had a pelvic fra fracture? Wow. Okay, so for those of you who want to, and let, I'm not a religious person, you guys. I strongly believe that the universal forces of love, light, God, source, whatever you want to call it, are for real always constantly with us but i'm not i don't believe in one religion i i just i just i'm like a, i'm like an open canvas you know i'm just gonna paint my way through it but um so uh so if you want to close your eyes this is strictly calling on our spirit guides and our angels and that's what it's all about um so if you need an angel especially for i'm hearing for an upcoming something you guys there's a reason why i'm doing this right somebody's got something big coming up Okay, and I'm also hearing if you're not ready to, um, yeah, exactly, exactly. If you're not ready to um, have things break away from your life, then, then don't say the message that you want all things that are not for your highest good to remove themselves from your life. So I'm going to just um, tune into the energy and hear what I'm hearing. I just saw somebody getting an IV in their arm. I don't know what that's about. My right my right arm right here started itching like I got an IV there. Okay. Okay. So all right. All right, spirit guides, angels. In this moment, I am facing a situation that is making me feel nervous, uncomfortable, and insecure. I will be facing authority figures that pretend to possess power over me. I am asking my ancestral DNA, light workers, healers, those who seek justice and wisdom and love to please be with me in this time of need every step of the way every moment that I face in this next coming week two or three I need you to shine clarity truth wisdom and confidence onto my spirit. Fill my aura with the holy light of protection, the spirit of strength, of clear navigation, of healing, and the energy of winning. Help me see that I am powerful and that nobody or anything has any authority over me or my spirit. I am control of my destiny. I write the story that I am in currently, and I create the reality that I am in. Please guide me and protect me and be with me in these next stages as I let go of the things that no longer serve me, as I leave this person that no longer makes me happy, as I leave this situation that is no longer for me or resonating with my energy any further, and as I step into these buildings with authoritative figures, may you protect my aura and guide me and block out all energies that think they run their power over me. The mighty armor of a million angels stands before me, in me, and all around me as I take the steps and the initiatives 
to guide myself in the clear direction that my life needs to take next. I thank you for your guidance and your love. Be with me. I love you. Okay? So um, maybe that's something that you guys need to um, store. I am saving this. Um, I'm going to um, post that because I, I'll, I'll, I'm feeling very emotional for somebody here. Um, this could be something that you're experiencing that you're afraid to experience. You think like you're going to be like, you think you're going to lose. You're not going to lose. You know what? At this moment on, from this moment on, like, you know, Spirit's going to give us what we need. And if we don't take the initiative and the steps and, and do what we need to do for ourselves, and we continue to let these people control us, because a lot of people here are, a lot of you I hear are allowing others to control your narrative, right? They want to tell you how to be, who to be. Who you think you are. Like, I know who I am. I know who I am. I, like, if you're a guy right now dating a girl, and she keeps, if you're just a guy dating a girl, and she keeps telling you who to be, like, Mira, no. No. No tocada. No me piace. Don't fucking, don't do it. Don't do it. Listen, I understand people trying to help people and, and giving them guidance and clear guidance. Like, for instance, I'm very psychic. If I was in a relationship and I was like, babe, don't go to that party. Something's going to happen. I'm not being, take the fucking girlfriend jealousy thing away. I'm telling you, something's gonna happen if you go. <laughs> you know, my guides tell me in advance, I don't let them all, you know what I'm saying? But like, we have to stop letting people be, yeah. We have to stop letting people like, little baby. I'm sorry, I'm not your little baby. I, I, I've, you know, I've experienced a lot in this lifetime, a lot. Yeah, and it's not even about a man who bosses you, who who will boss you or tell you what to do. However, if someone looks at you genuinely with the eye and says, babe, I think that you should just be careful when you go here because I'm getting a bad feeling. Like, that's different from when somebody's like, you're not going, bitch. Well, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Are you sure? What? <laughs> Are you talking to me? <laughs> you know, because it's not about that. It's not about controlling each other or not, you know? When people are in a relationship, like, unless they're out, like with friends having dinner and business and all that stuff really what are you actually going out for like think about it like what do you i mean go out together i mean why you know what i'm saying i just if, you, if you're in a relationship you should be able to go out together and enjoy yourself that's how i feel and it should be like where you go out together you enjoy yourself and i'm not a jealous person i want to see my man like laugh and giggle the whole time we're out <laughs> you know so if he's like <clears throat> You know, a little bit social and all that stuff. I'm not going to be like, oh, how, can, how can you talk to her? My ego is is very in check and my insecurities are in check. And we have to be, you know, it all boils down to that. Even when you're walking into a court, if you let a fucking judge, <laughs> the fucking douchebag on the fucking stand sitting there with that fucking dress on, boy, all I, all I, all I imagine him is wearing those head curler wigs and I just start like giggling in my head like who do you think you are you know you're not you don't you're not the boss of me you're not the fucking boss of me you know <clears throat> I give respect to those people because I know see you gotta play this game smart this world smart you know like I told my daughter the other day you know you don't even have to be that good in school All you gotta do is kiss a couple of teachers asses and you're passing you know what I'm saying but everybody's so like their ego is so high up it's like I'm not kissing nobody's freaking out. Um, yes, officer? What? What's that? Sure, you want me? Okay, no problem. Like, the fuck? Just don't give me the ticket, boy. That's all I care about. Like, but everybody's, like, defending themselves against, like, you know, their traumas that they had when they were growing up. And some of you are about to have some fun doing something here. Because um, I'm getting, like, a feeling that you're going to have some fun. With some... <clears throat> Whatever you're about to do is going to be a lot of fun. Ooh, my right eye. Mm-hmm. You got to be smart in this world. You just got to know how to play the game because you got to, you know, these are, <clears throat> these are the, um, <clears throat> these are the, like the background people to your story, right? So if you're in a play and you're the main character and all the people that are sitting in the background, you watch the play Carmen, right? For instance, Carmen, that song, if you watch it and she's like, uh, if you watch her walking around, 
and all of these background people are sitting there, like you could do, do two things. You could either make the background people a part of what you're doing as you're performing the aria, or you could just let them sit back and do what they do and pretend they're smoking their cigarettes and just play their roles. If you choose to make every single person a part of your story while you're doing this story in this lifetime, then you got to look at yourself and like, what are you doing to bring on all of these extra like characters that don't need to be a part of your story because this is your story. And you know, like William Shakespeare said, all the world's a stage, we're but actors in it, okay? We're but actors in it. All the world's a stage, we're actors in it. Now, if you're the lead in your own play, it's up to you. Do you want to walk down the street and if somebody's like walking next to you and they get on your nerves? Now, let me ask you something. If they were a background person, you just made them a star of the show. See what I'm saying to you? La, 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 la. What the fuck? Like, and he's just sitting there like, hmm? Huh? I didn't, I didn't think anyone would speak to me today. I'm supposed to be just standing here in the background annoying people. And you turn around and speak to them. You ever watch the movie Free Guy? Free Guy. Watch the movie Free Guy. So in the movie Free Guy, Ryan Reynolds, it's, I'm not going to spoil, but like Ryan Reynolds is living in a, in a video game. And every single day, he wakes up every day. Good morning, Goldie. Good morning, Goldie. And he wakes up every day. And as he's walking down the street, he bumps into this woman and he sees her walking. And every day he says, don't have a good day, have a great day, every single day. And then one day he decides to put on the glasses because the people with the glasses were all the main characters of this story. So he decides to put on the glasses and he realizes, holy shit, I'm in a fucking video game. Like, this is not even real. He finds all this stuff out through the movie. Watch this movie. It's called Free Guy with Ryan Reynolds. You'll love it. You will thank me later for that movie. And when we start to make, just like the girl with the glasses, she was walking by. She said, don't have a good day. Have a great day. She was making fun of him. And all of a sudden he was like, huh? I love that song. She goes, hmm, that's different. And then you see, she made him a part of the story and then he wakes up. So it's like almost like these background people that you see, because there's background people. Watch Dolores Cannon. She'll tell you. There's background people. Some of you guys are, are either married or dating background people. And that's why they don't know how to handle your shine. Can I tell you a secret to relationships? Please don't date nobody below your stature who can't accept that you might be so cold above them because nobody's better or worse. But let's say you're a star. You're famous and they're not. They're going to be jealous. Let's say you're... Famous in your hood. <laughs> Everybody knows you. You walk down the street, you're like Belle. Good day, good day. How are you this morning? You know what I'm saying? There goes the baker with his tray. There goes the crackhead with his... Th you know what I'm saying? You're walking down the street singing fucking Disney songs and this person with you is like... Why do you know everyone? Why does everyone know you? It's like, bitch, I'm fucking the fucking hood of bells. You know, the bell of hoods. You know what I'm saying? Like... <laughs> You can't be with people that don't accept your your shining, your sh shining. <laughs> they can't accept your swinning. <laughs> they can't accept you swinning, okay? Yeah, those people are dangerous because they're um uh porcelain because I've been with people like that in relationships and when I was out like y y you know, oh, Flo, Flo, like what's up, Flo? Let me give me hugs and they're like in the background just like like <laughs> you know, like, oops, I just made a background person part of my reality. You cannot be with people. Let, it, 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 I'm, not, it, 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 I'm not just talking about, like, people who are famous. I'm not talking about none of that because nobody here is famous. What the fuck is fame anyway, right? We're all famous, bef like, in our own hoods, in our own neighborhoods. You know what I'm saying to you? You know what I mean? It's up to you to decipher, like, what's famous, what's not famous. I'm not even talking about in, on the stature status here. I'm talking about, like, in general, when you are somebody who's popular or you like people or you're social or you're, you like to be out there. You like to get in and do things for others. And if someone is around you who doesn't support exactly, even if they're not a part of it, if they're not completely supporting it, like, you know what? Babe, I love that you do that. You go do that. I'll be home just chilling. You know what I'm saying? If they don't want to be right next to you by your side, like, babe, let's go. Let's conquer the world together. <laughs> you know, then they're um, they're never going to accept you. And that's one of the issues here. You're, you're trying to date below or above your stature. And then if you do date above your so-called stature, because that's like, like, it's literally, I'm just saying that to be technical. It's I don't believe in statures. But if you're dating someone, 
who's above your pay grade, let's say, right? You're a guy and your woman's making more money than you. And if that, that makes you feel uncomfortable, then you have to step out of that storyline. Don't make that person feel bad for being more successful. Or don't make a person feel worse because they're not as successful as you. You either accept the motherfucker as they are or get the fuck out of the way. Let somebody else date them. Why are you trying to make people a part of your fucking status? You know? And that's a big major problem we have. A lot of women out here trying to fix somebody. A lot of y'all trying to fix a dude. A lot of dudes trying to fix a girl. You can't fix nobody. I, I mean, I'm like obsessed with that show Love After Lockup. I'm just like, I don't know. My only toxic trait. Love it. Love it. You got these bitches. This bitch was a nurse in a fucking correctional facility. And if you see the dude that she fucking left her job for to be with him, scrawny little fuckboy, because <laughs> she said I can help him. You can't help him, honey. He's a meth head. He's smoking meth in jail. Like, what do you think he's going to do? You just lost your whole job and everything for him. Speaking of Mr. Famous came out of the woodwork two days ago. Wait. Um, speak. Oh, oh. Why did a song, Porcelain, is... Shorty, man, 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 man. I just got that. Um, da, 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 da. Am I right? Am I right? You can't break me down. <laughs> Wait, you cannot break down what can be broken. I uh, know, pours, girl, the song just came to my mind right away. <laughs> as soon as you said that, I was like, <laughs> the song came on to my mind right away. I had a dream about the Kardashians once again. I don't know why the fuck spirit showing me them, but they do reveal to me dark, forceful, dark, forceful energies on this earth. And they showed me them in a home. And then there was all of these people that were living with them or hanging out with them. And then all of a sudden, I remember saying, how come everybody that's living with them is going crazy? And then, like, literally, they, like, turned a whole ward into a mental hospital. And I I remember, mm, and yeah, okay. It's This is a message that a lot of people aren't going to, that's why spirit, you know, it's hard for them to give the message. But you guys understand what I'm saying. Well, I had the dream that I wore the Balenciaga jacket. And in the dream, I was like, oh, there goes the jacket that supports child sex trafficking. And literally walked away. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 100% Astro. You're absolutely right. Yeah, just messages from the industry, not them in particular. I think they were talking about them in particular, though, too. Because if you know that they do really run a lot of um, what goes on over there. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All I'm saying is, truth seekers, you know what time it is. You know what it is. We're not, we're not stupid. We're not stupid, but we don't care either because they ain't affecting me, but they're affecting a lot of people. That's the problem, though. That's the problem. It's like I'm like watching people in the dream and they're like, oh, like, oh, my God, like this is sad. This is sad. But, you know, what are you going to do? Like, I, I'm, unless I'm sent to do a mission, I'm just going to sit back and be like, well, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't do nothing about it. Anyway, so Spirit wants you to know that that. This is your strength right now. For some of you, you're able to see the... What's the message? You're able to see that um, things are... You're I'm hearing predicting that shit. You're predicting that. You're predicting it. But you might be denying it too. There could be something that's taking place with you and a person and you know you're not supposed to be with this person. <sighs> I would not. I feel uncomfortable talking about stuff like that. I don't know. I just got these crystals today, though. Look. look at this. Isn't that beautiful? Look at this. Look at this here. This one's so pretty. It is so pretty. Can you believe the earth makes that? Yep, the earth makes it. <laughs> this little cluster here is beautiful too. Look at that one. I love those colors. Look. Mm. And this like is like a cluster and it's shaped like a heart. It's cute. I can't believe it. Look how beautiful what the earth makes. You see this shit? 
Is it a sherry? And then this one, which is probably one of my favorite colors right here. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Okay. All right, guys. <clears throat> but I also can feel energy, too, from people. So, hi. Uh, okay, can I ask you guys a question? Maybe some of you guys know. Ay, Dios mio. Maybe you guys know or have been through this. Um, thanks, Lori. Um, have any of you ever had a spinal epidural shot? It's like an epidural because I have like a, um, a big disc, a herniated disc on my left side from the car accident. And um, the doctor wants to do a spinal epidural thingy. You've had it done? And should I do it? Yes or no? Because I've been like working with spirit. I keep hearing I should do it. But I want to know from people personally. Your child just turned three. Oh, it's a, it's a beautiful time. Car accidents in three. Wow. When you gave birth only. I've had that too when I, had, when I gave birth too. But it's because when I have a, a herniated disc, like a really bad one. Nobody had it for their back. Depends on my pain tolerance. Well, every day I wake up and I move, like, it, it, my lower back side is fucked up. So, yeah. So I'm just wondering, if, like, if anybody's got it done and if they think... Because I was looking at the comments, like, I looked it up and, like, hundreds of people were like, that saved me. Because, like, no, I know I'll heal, but it's, like, it's, like, right all down here from, like, here all the way down. Like, right here on my lower ass part, right here. I have a back surgery, herniated disc. Yeah, I don't want to do surgery, so he said we'll do a procedure. Because I'm like, I'm not doing any surgeries. I'm sorry, I'm not. I'm just not. The first thing I tell doctors is no painkillers for me, no narcotics, and no surgeries. Because I'm not dealing with that shit, bro. I'll heal myself in time. I know I will. But also, you know, some people say that it's good for you. The thing. It's called an epidural shot it's not an epidural though but it's like it, they go into your spine it's like an epidural but it's like it lasts like six months so it's the same procedure as an epidural meaning that they put the needle down your spine and then they the spot that's really bothering you they numb it and it stays numb like that for like six months it's it's not a draw it's not narcotic it's supposed to like numb your 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 pain spot that's what i heard so i don't know i'm just i'm just asking if anybody's ever got it done spinal tap yeah like something like that yeah so i'm wondering if i should do it i have an appointment monday but i'm kind of like but spirit said do it so but but i also am like such a natural healing believer but also if i'm 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 in pain every day and i'm taking like i don't take advil every day bro don't do that please don't take ibuprofen every day advil all that don't do it do not do it. You know what I'm saying? But it is. It's like a physical therapy is better than a shot. And I'm now pain later. Yeah, it's going to last six months, he said. But um, I am doing physical therapy as well. So, you know, it is what it is. I was just trying to see if anybody's ever got it done. I wa yeah, I'm very smart. I research things. I look at people. I see what they're feeling. <sighs> My mom had it for her hip. <laughs> Anyway, guys, I'm going to go. If you can avoid it, I would. I, I think I'm going to two, Linda. Thank you. I am hearing. You need. You could use it, but you don't need it. That's what I'm hearing over and over again. All right, guys. Um, Tomorrow I have some private clients I got to get to. Um, personal readings. And um, I do want to jump on this week after. Because it's Christmas time. I'm not even going to start my classes in this time. And all that. Because people are spending all their money stupidly on gifts so just so you guys know you know you know santa is related to satan and i'm not saying satan's good or bad because who knows right but you know that santa is related to like satan and energy right like the whole falling out of the sky with <laughs> i'm just saying just watch how you spend your christmas don't make it all crazy like i'm gonna get people presents whose key is this mine for what for my car which one the mercedes um, so you, um, don't let people on Christmas stress you out, please. Okay. St. Nicholas, that's different though. It's a saint, like, but Santa, Santa Claus, like they, that movie, the Santa Clauses, 
the, did you know that the kids were dancing on one of the parts of the movie and they were holding up a sign that says Satan? And they're like trying to make it like it was an accident, right? But no, they're holding up a sign that says Satan in the movie in the, on Disney Channel. If you have Disney Plus, put on the movie um, um, Santa Clauses. The thing is called Santa Clauses, right? With Tim, 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 Tim guy, the Tim guy. And there's the part where the kids are dancing, yeah, 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 and they're all holding up signs. Satan claws, mm-hmm, and they're all ho holding up signs. I swear to God, and it says Satan. I shit you not. They don't find it right now. Give me one second. <laughs> you see, that's why, oh, my God. My back. My shoulders and my back. I wanted to get a breast reduction, but then I saw... What the fuck they do to your titties? <laughs> I was like, oh, hell no. Oh, my God. Damn, them motherfuckers. They look like Sally from fucking... I feel there's something in the air. Bruh. I shit you not. The fucking titties look like Sally. All stitched up. All fucking stitched up. I was like, I can't, I can't do it. I can't do it. Give me a second. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Describe your gender, man. Whoops, my bad. All right, wait. God, you got to see it. You got to see it. Like patchwork. Exactly. It's patchwork. Yeah, it's pat. I can't. I can't do it. I'm sorry. I'd rather do it with my big titties, lose the weight, and just whatever. <laughs> In the middle of time for those fucking patchy ass titties. Uh, no, I'm not saying that it's bad. I'm not saying that it's bad because I understand because, bro, the fucking, the fucking amount of pain my shoulders and back experience because of my big titties it's 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 like it's unfathomable but um hold on let me see here where is it at the kids are all dancing where's the part where the kids are dancing i think they're hold on i'm just gonna find the spot Sorry, I gotta. I think it's at the end. I'm not sure. I don't know where the part is where they're fucking dancing because I saw it on a clip, but. Alright, anyway. Um, anyway, it's on there. I'm sure you can Google it. Do you, do you know your insurance will cover for that reason? Yeah, oh, f for sure. My insurance would, my insurance covers a breast reduction, for sure. For sure, but it's just, um... Look at that, the, the, sat the satanic conspiracy. Hold on. I can't deal with these people. Look, yo, I cannot. I cannot. When you look, I swear. Satan's claws. Shocking truth about Santa Claus. I try to keep this professional, but unfortunately it turns out to be no way because the claims and accusations I'm about to make are incre incredibly pervasive implications and intractable depth of the problem the argument the information presented here and more likely um skill blah 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 not on what i was gonna another me and baby 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 boo boo baby now i'm gonna read this whole fucking thing anyway <laughs> what upper eyelid surgery too do you do you know your insurance would cover but you don't need it. Upper eyelid surgery. What the fuck is that for? Upper eyelid surgery. What does somebody need to do to their upper eyelids? <laughs> but. What are you doing? I'm researching. Researching what? <laughs> what? Why are you hiding your phone? Because you're Nikki. Uh, what? Because no. you got, no, you have short time. Okay, but. What are you doing? Big. I have big, big hiccups. Alright, guys, I, I gotta go. The monster's here. 
I didn't say you're naked. How dare you say those words about yourself? Don't play with me. Oh. All right, but not ugly. You just look a little bit disheveled right now. Yeah, how couldn't you show yourself right now? Easy. I'm I'm good. I'm just me, boo. Yeah, no, She's how can you show yourself right now? Your hair color right there matches your shirt. And everybody loves it. And I'm telling them I'm going to dye my hair. No, but everybody's like, don't do it. Look at the wolf. All right. I hear you, cuz. Like the ones that, like, that, like, that bite you. Mm -hmm. The ones that, like, that eat your toes. Mm-hmm. I know. I love you guys. All right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go because um she thinks she's gonna roast me and not and not get her ass beat. No. Right I'll be right there. Don't worry. No, don't do it. <laughs> she don't want me to get off now. All right, guys. I see you guys later. But really, um, I'm gonna actually. I should just del uh edit that clip of me praying because the whole thing was about um you guys changing and angels and all that. And then you know, of course, we get into the personal conversations. But I will see you guys maybe hey, later on tonight or tomorrow. Okay. okay. I'll see you later. No, no, she's just saying that. She's joking. I'll see you later.